Okay, I think that's it. Thanks very much for the game tonight, everybody. This was a brilliant start, and uh, I'm really hyped to see where this campaign goes. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you all will have leveled up after, so we're at third level now, I think. You don't have to do that at the table. You can go away and do that at home, figure out what you want to do with your character. Third level is where it starts getting really interesting. <sighs> it's getting pretty late, and I think we probably... We'll need to get ready for bed now. That went on longer than I expected. So if you've got any questions about leveling up, just put them in the group chat, okay? I'll get to them tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Safe travels then, everyone. See you next week. Yep. Bye. Oh, don't forget your dice. Here. <laughs> See you, folks. Thanks for coming. <sighs> Whew. I thought that was never going to end. Guess I'd better pack all this stuff away. <laughs> yeah, that dungeon is a hell of a grind. I'd read that starting Strahd with Death House isn't actually a good idea, but I wanted to give it a fair shot. Find out for myself. Yeah, I guess it could have been worse. But I did make it a little easier than it's meant to be according to the book. Don't tell anybody else, though, okay? Ah, did you have fun? That's the most important thing. You seemed pretty into it, considering it was your first time. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Don't worry about going down. It happens so much at first level. It would have been weird if nobody had been knocked out. And besides, you weren't the only one. Gurun went down too, and he was a bloody barbarian. He had way more HP than you. No excuses for him. Oh, yeah. I forgot you went down twice. Well, look... It really doesn't matter. Everybody had fun. You were back on your feet in no time. There we go. Nice and tidy. Do you want a drink before we go to bed? Settle down on the sofa or something? Yeah, that'd be good. I always feel a bit buzzed after a session. I wouldn't be able to sleep if I was tired. Let's have a hot chockey and get sleepy. Uh, sorry, I was humming that fucking tavern music, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, it's catchy. <laughs> and at this point, a bit predictable. But, hey, what would D&D be without predictable tavern music in the first session? It's the natural order of things. Here you go. Absolutely sure. You just seem a little quiet and zoned out, I guess. Is something bugging you? Are you just thinking about something that happened in the session, or...? Oh, babe, what's the matter? Oh, come here. <laughs> what's wrong? No, of course it's okay not to want to talk about it right away. Here, let me give you a big squeeze. <laughs> Tight as you like. Go on. I'm a stress toy. Whatever's on your mind, take it out on me. See if you squeeze every last bit of air out of my lungs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you might actually have done it. <laughs> uh, you're always stronger than I remember. You'd think I would have learned by now. Are you feeling anxious about something? Is that it? Yeah, okay. Well, how about you put your head on my lap and I'll give you a little hair stroke? Helps when you do that for me, so it makes sense that I should return the favour. You've got a lighter head than me, too. <laughs> no. Your head is definitely lighter, despite your brain being bigger. Not because it's smaller. Definitely. 
Come on. Flop time. Put your head right here. There you go. Get nice and comfy. It's all okay. I'll just give you a gentle stroke. Does that feel good? Good. See if you can figure out what it is that's bothered you, and we can talk about it if you want. No rush, though. I can talk for the both of us in the meantime. So, how about that encounter at the end, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you'd all got up to second level at that point. At least you had a bit more HP. If you'd all still been at first level, that probably would have been a TPK, and that'd be a real crappy way to end the first session. Oh, TPK is a total party kill. It's what it sounds like when the whole party goes down and fails all their death saves and there's no way for them to be revived. It's a campaign ender if it happens. Yeah, to be honest, if a TPK happens in the first session, or even the second sometimes, I usually just go back a round or two and pretend it didn't happen. Reverse time. Nobody died. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I mean... The alternative is restarting the campaign from scratch with new characters, and when you've only just got started, that all seems a bit pointless. Uh, some DMs would say it ruins the fraught nature and the sense of danger of early level combat or whatever. But I think avoiding the tedium is more valuable than maintaining strict, absolute adherence to the rules at all times. I'm no rules lawyer. Nah, I just want to have fun. Anyway, um, are you feeling a little less anxious? Maybe a little? Yeah. Yeah. A <laughs> forehead kiss is like magic, isn't it? Hmm. So, what do you think it was that bothered you? Oh, okay, yeah. No, no, I totally get it. You don't have to be embarrassed, I understand. There is a kind of sense of pressure with this sort of thing, even if nobody actually wants you to feel pressured. And I know those were all my friends we were playing with too, so I'm sure it felt a bit like you were the odd one out, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. I should have realised that something like that might happen and give you a warning or something, you know? It happened to me the first time I played D&D. It was a really similar situation. Uh, yeah, I think for a lot of people, their first time is with a group of mostly strangers, and they're just the one friend who's being introduced at the time. And for many of them, including me and apparently including you, that can be really hard. So don't feel silly. I get it. And for what it's worth, I think you did brilliantly tonight. Yeah, I really mean it. You picked up the rules quickly, you asked the right questions, and for someone who was dealing with some social anxiety, apparently, you got really into the role-playing. Like, I didn't expect you to do that well with that. For a first-timer, you were really fun to play with. <laughs> you got me there. I probably would say all this stuff even if it wasn't true, to make you feel better. But you'll just have to trust me when I say that I'm being 100% honest. You were a great player tonight. Yeah, I'm sure the others thought so too. But even if you were a bad player, which you weren't, they probably wouldn't have noticed. Most of the time, when someone's playing D&D, or when they're doing anything, really, they're mostly thinking about what they're doing. And when it's someone else's turn, they'll mainly be thinking about what they're going to do next. No, I'm not kidding. Think back. You weren't obsessing over what everybody else was doing, were you? You weren't judging every little move they made. No. I'm sure you were paying attention, enough to keep up with the story and the role-playing and everything, that's a given. But I bet you barely noticed if someone else, I don't know, made a bad combat decision, or fucked up in negotiations with an NPC, or stumbled over their words. It would barely have registered in your mind, right? Right. The only time people remember mistakes is when it makes the game more fun. It's just the same for everybody else. I'm sure they paid some attention to you and your character and what you were doing. 
but they weren't judging every little thing you did. And the odd mistakes you made, that's part of the game. They all made mistakes too. Hell, I made a few mistakes as the DM. It's just the nature of things. <laughs> okay, well, I already mentioned that Gurum went down. That happened because he was way out of position. That was his mistake as a player. He should have moved back in the previous round. If he'd done that, he would have been fine. But he probably didn't even notice that, right? No, I thought not. I only noticed because it gave the enemies I was controlling an advantage, not because I was judging that player in the moment. Yeah. So don't worry about it, okay? I promise you did good. I'll tell you what, even if you played really, really badly and did terrible role-playing, or worse, no role-play at all, I wouldn't mind. Not really. The best part about you having played with us this evening is that you gave it a go. <laughs> yeah, it is so cool of you to, I don't know, get out of your comfort zone a bit. Because clearly this was a little out of your comfort zone. And the fact that you did that so that you could engage in one of my interests. That's just so nice. <laughs> it's so lovely of you. I'm, I'm really lucky to have you back in my life. You know when you hear about a couple that are like living completely separate lives? No shared interests, no attempts even to find some shared interests or at least pretend to be interested in each other's shit. Barely spending any time together that isn't just vegging out in front of the TV or whatever. I don't want to be like that. And it's not like that with you. Mm-hmm. So even if you'd hated it and never wanted to play it again, I'd be so grateful that you'd at least shown an interest and given it a go. It's, it's really hot of you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sexy to show an interest in someone else's hobby. I love that about you. So, what do you think? Will you want to play again next week, or do you think it's not for you? Either answer is fine, honestly. Like I said, you were great to play with, so if you decide to play again, everyone will be thrilled about it. But if you decide it's too much, or you just didn't enjoy it all that much, that's okay too. I'll definitely miss having you in the game, but the other three will be fine on their own, so there's no pressure. Yeah? You sure? Hmm. I am so glad that you enjoyed it enough to give it another go. And hey look, I'm sure the anxiety won't get to you next time. Or if it does, I'm sure it'll be nowhere near as bad. And look, next time, if you do start to feel a little anxious, or like you need a break or whatever, let me know somehow and I'll call a break. It's no big deal. It's totally normal to have occasional breaks when you're playing D&D or any tabletop game. It can be tiring doing this stuff. Ooh, good point. We should come up with a little system so you can let me know without having to say anything in front of the others. <laughs> no, it's not stupid, I get it. Um, how about we say that if you drop your D4 and your D6 on the floor, then that's a sign to me to call a break. I know you're clumsy, but hopefully the chances of you dropping those specific dice accidentally are low enough that that should work. Something more subtle? Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess dropping your dice would draw some attention to you. Um, I guess you could just make sure you're sitting next to me and give me a little kick under the table. I don't know why I didn't just suggest that first, to be honest. That makes way more sense. I always have to overcomplicate things. Yeah, okay. Settled then. If you give me a little kick, I'll know that you need a timeout next time. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you'll find it easier and less anxiety inducing next time, but if you are feeling a little put out, then I better quick breather, maybe a pep talk from me. We'll sort you right out. Okay? 
Okay. Aside from the horrible anxiety, you did enjoy it tonight, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. I know how frustrating it can be for anxiety to interrupt something that you know you'd enjoy if it weren't for that, so fingers crossed for next time, huh? Yeah. Now, I'm going to lie down on the sofa too. It's big cuddle time. I really did mean it when I said how cool it was of you to give this a go, you know. It means a lot to me, and I, I feel so close to you, because we have this thing that we share now. Something we can do together, and get really into together. A shared passion. It's so... It's so nice. You should have a think about some interest of yours that you think it'd be fun to introduce me to. Yeah, anything at all. I'll, I'll try anything once. Well, almost anything. If it involves... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sure you're nothing you're into would be that bad. You have pretty good taste in things, I would say. Oh, I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that kind of thing. Hey, sure. We can give that a go sometime if you like. I love this. I love feeling like I'm rediscovering you and us. It's magic. Let's go brush our teeth to get ready for bed. I'm kind of tired after all that, but I... I just want to 